Hello everyone, my name is James, and today I wanted to cover with you the question of saber brightness. A lot of people on the internet have always been trying to figure out which saber is the brightest saber on the market. Uh, and it's really difficult to tell because of all the factors that exist when you're comparing one picture to another. Uh, for instance, the last time I did reviews in this setting, there was full sunlight coming in through that window. There are three large lights right above my head that you can't see, but they're there. And so any saber that I put on in that setting was going to look washed out. If we cherry pick images, it's very easy to say, geez, it's really terrible that my kyber light in this image isn't nearly as bright as this person's kyber light in the image. And it's the same saber that you just saw twice. Um, so I wanted to give it a little bit of a head-to-head -head here and show you what these sabers are like in comparison to each other. Here in front of me I have a Kyber Light. I have an Ultra Sabers with an emerald board. This one is a red, green, blue, white emerald board. And for the sake of information, all four of those LEDs have been turned to max on the color setting that you'll see in a moment. I have an Ultra Sabers Stunt in red. And I have a Saber Forge Gladius. Now I've turned the flicker off on all of these sabers so that we're just dealing with solid colors. This is purple, by the way. So ask any dealer which saber or which one of these sabers is brighter, and all of these dealers will say, well, obviously, mine is. Most of them claim to be the brightest in the galaxy. Now I can't speak to the galaxy, but we can talk about planet Earth and put this to a little bit of a head-to-head. -head. Uh, first off, let me talk about some things that I will not be covering. I'm not going to be covering resistors and power and wiring because I'm not an electrician. I know what a resistor does. Uh, I've never soldered one to a board. Uh, so we're not going to be covering the amount of power running through it and the description of how many watts each LED is. Uh, Vader's Vault listed a thing a while back saying watts is kind of irrelevant, and I, kind of, or I, I subscribe to that. We're going to go with what it looks like to the human eye and to the camera. All right, we're also not going to be covering the optics. Now, optics make a slight difference. That's the focusing mechanism on top of the LED. They make a slight difference, but by and large, most saber manufacturers these days have figured out how to funnel a beam of light in a narrow, uh, through a narrow tube. It's a pretty simple process. Um, most of them have figured it out. Some of them have had some hiccups along the way, and there are still some slight variations. We're also not gonna be talking about blades. For the purpose of control, I'm using two identical blades here. These are Ultra Sabers, mid-grade, uh, diffused blades. They're clear polycarbonate with a diffusion film in the middle. One of them has a piece of, uh, one of them has a piece of styrofoam stuck in the tip, so try to ignore that. Um, focusing just on the blades, though, let's wait for my clock to finish doing what it's doing, and then we'll do a bit of a head-to-head. -head. I'm going to turn the lights down a bit so that you see it in a little bit little bit more of a comparable context. Alright, so brief head-to-head. -head. Here in my right hand, I have an ultra save, or I have a uh, Kyber light running a single red die. Here in my left hand, I have an ultra saber stunt saber running a single red die. Now you'll notice that these two are comparative. Okay, there's uh, these two. I can't really tell which one of these is brighter. Uh, going through identical blades, this one has the styrofoam in it that I mentioned, so try to ignore that. But uh, I can't really tell which one is brighter running red. All right, that's a single color. Now let's go to a color blend. The Saber Forge is running purple. All right, or kind of a pink purple. The closest that the Kyber Light has in approximation to this I think I just cycled past. It's right about there. All right, now there's a slight hue discrepancy in this. This is a little bit more blue than this. Uh, in this case, the Saber Forge, I think, appears slightly brighter. Uh, that could have something to do with the hue of the blade. It's hard to say. Uh, could be the optics, but the difference is slight. It is there. All right, 
And here's the Emerald Saber. This one still has the sound on, so you'll have to bear with that. I've capped off the vents on the table. Now this is running all four LEDs on an Emerald Saber. The Kyber Light has a setting that I believe is doing roughly the same thing. So right here, I believe this is running all four of the LEDs. Um, you'll notice here again the Emerald Saber, slightly brighter, but the difference again is very slight. It's comparable. Um, and when you run all of the LEDs, you end up with this sort of off-white. So let me go ahead and turn the lights back on. And let's talk about that. So as you've just seen, the uh, brightness on these is roughly comparable. It's about the same between brands. There are subtle differences, probably owing to optics and power. Um, they're really nothing to write home about. So what makes one saber brighter than another saber? Well, the big part of it is, well, one big part of it is color. Some colors are more observable by the human eye. For instance, this green, which is a single dye color, is almost always going to look brighter than this blue. Okay, blue being more towards the ultraviolet end of the spectrum, this is going to be less observable to us. The other factor that goes into it, uh, other than color, is context, competing light. I talked about the lights that are up there and the light coming in through the windows all around me. Uh, how much light is around is going to make a big Im or going to have a big impact on how bright your blade appears to be. Uh, they will all appear very bright in darkness. Okay, and the last is combination. So if you look at this video, you'll see me going through combination or color combinations on a color change saber. Okay, you'll notice that as I go through this, some of these combinations look much dimmer than others, and some of them are blindingly bright. Okay, the reason for that is that some of them are dimmer than others, and some of them are blindingly bright. Okay, when we're dealing with an LED saber, we're dealing with something that could be running just a single LED, like the Stunt Ultra Saber that I showed you. It could be running two LEDs, like the uh, Saber Forge Saber that I showed you, which is running a red and a blue or it could be running more than that. Okay, the Emerald Saber was running four, and the Kyber Light was running four different LEDs. Right? If you're looking for a single, or a single color saber, and color blending is not, or a color switching is not an option that you're interested in, most saber manufacturers offer sabers that are running several of the same color LEDs, like a tri-red, or even a quad-red, four to three LEDs of the same color. That's going to be a much brighter red than any of these sabers is capable of producing. Uh, but it's only ever going to be red. Okay, if you're going for a color blending saber or a color changing saber, you're limited to the number of LEDs that are in there. Uh, four, usually. Four little dyes on the board. Okay, um, with that being the case, you're going to be able to get red. It's never going to be as bright as a tri-red, but you're going to be able to get red, and then you're going to be able to get blue, etc. Uh, if you want bright colors on a board like that, you're going to have to go with a white or an off-white where you have multiple LEDs firing at the same time. Same thing holds true of the push-button uh, color change option, uh, RGB option, that Ultra Sabers used to offer. So the conclusion, which saber is brighter? My suggestion is that you don't worry about it. If you're dealing with sabers from manufacturers who seem to know what they're doing or have a reasonable idea, you're going to be dealing with sabers that are roughly as bright as other sabers by other manufacturers. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that lightsabers are awesome. They're pieces of metal with electronics in them that light up a tube. Okay, This lightsaber is awesome, that lightsaber is awesome, that lightsaber is awesome. Uh, within the lightsaber community, we sometimes forget that and get a little bit snarky and competitive. 
Um, what I would encourage you to do is instead of worrying about the brightness, worry about the features. Which one has the body that you're looking for, the form that you're looking for, the point of balance that you're looking for, or the craftsmanship, or the etching, or the flash on clash, or the sound fonts. Look at the other stuff. Don't let the lighting get in your way. For the most part, you're going to be fine on lighting. If you want brighter, go with a tri-LED or go with some sort of color switching and resign yourself to white. Uh, if this has been of help, then I would encourage you to either subscribe or to like the video. I would also remind you that I have a Kickstarter going currently for tutorials on how to use these things. I'll put the link for that in the text of the description for this video. Uh, if this has been of use to you, then please stop by and take a look and see what I have to offer. Otherwise, happy savoring!